Play PA boot over at a bunch tight end in the Packers playbook. Features one of the best ways to beat man coverage in Madden 24. We're going to go over it in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. You can get the entire offensive and defensive ebooks, everything in the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It's going to get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we release while your membership is active. So what we're going to do for this setup is we are going to zig the outside bunch receiver and then we are going to slant the inside bunch receiver and streak the tight end. The beauty of this is this is going to create a zig flat combo, which is really good against man to man. And then this crosser this year, these crossing routes are pretty good um, at getting separation against man coverage. You're just going to freeform them to the open space. And as you can see, we're able to beat man coverage to the sideline over on that side of the field. So what this is going to do is they are going to have to basically user the crosser with their with their user defender. So if they blitz you, they're already going to have the entire middle of the field open and you are blocking your running back. If they don't blitz you and they don't have any flat defenders, the slant will have time to be able to get open. And you can obviously juke in the open field. One of the best ways people are playing defense right now in Madden 24 is they are playing what I what I call basically a two-man under. Um, and essentially, they're going to create this out of 3-3 Cub, and they're going to user the deep crossing route, of course. So when you run this play, what happens when you isolate this zig is a lot of times he's going to come in, cut out, and get separation against man, just like that right there. That separation is very consistent. Probably, honestly, from what I'm seeing in Madden 24, the zig route might be the most consistent man beater in this game for you. So you want to take advantage of it as we just did, and you want to utilize that to be able to beat any kind of man-to-man. -man. Now, if they're playing you in off coverage, like they're not pressing you, this zig route, I think, works a little bit um, Sometimes it works really good. I would say overall, it's still about 80% of the time going to get separation against man coverage, but it can, they can kind of work it a little bit. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the best way for the opponent to stop a zig route is they're going to have to utilize a hard flat defender. So the problem with them having to utilize a hard flat defender is there's still going to be this really big opening on this, on this play with your slant route. So you see here, the hard flat takes away the zig but the slant's coming wide open over the middle of the field, and we're able to hit that against man coverage. This is also, this concept is really good against zone, and the reason what makes it good against zone is the fact that we have the tight end streak paired with the crosser. And so same kind of deal here, but basically this tight end is going to clear out any kind of deep zones, and you're going to throw this crosser in the intermediate right sideline of the field. Now, this is going to cause their user defender to have to go and defend the crossing route. Now, a good Madden player might have some, you know, some zones underneath to try to help this out a little bit. What you're going to notice on this, on this route concept is if they go to the crosser, the middle of the field is open right there. Just take the middle of the field when you have it open. With slant routes this year, they do some weird stuff, and, and maybe you'll see it here what they'll do with slant routes, and I just don't understand what EA was thinking with this, but basically this slant route will try to stop in the middle, but oftentimes he stops where this yellow zone is. So what I like to do is just playmaker him up the field, and by flicking the right joystick up, and then I can kind of control the fact that he's going to continue to run. Now, if you let this all play out, and you see this entire setup here, what you're going to notice is this slant flat concept, or the slant zig concept, is going to do a really good job late in this play. So they go there, the slant route, if I wait on it, I'm going to throw it right over here, and you see that it can get basically over the hard flat and underneath the deep blue zone. This allows us a lot of flexibility, and again, it forces the opponent to have to really um, respect the fact that you can throw this crosser, and then if they go to the crosser, then you're looking to dump this slant down right in the middle just like that, and it creates a really versatile passing play for your offense. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, I'm going to drop a link to that down in the description. 
Join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks for just $10. You're going to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. So make sure that you join the Patreon. You can do that by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.